Now that we've cleared all of ICC, it's time to face the Lich King. You can teleport to his chamber by walking to the middle of the spire. Soloing the Lich King on heroic mode is a challenging fight, but it will get easier as the gear level increases. This fight was done in an item level of 486 with the old 4 piece set bonus. For my talents, I had Long Arm of the Law, Fist of Justice, Sacred Shield, Unbreakable Spirit, Sanctified Wrath, and Execution Sentence. My buffs and glyphs can be found in the description. In phase 1, he will follow a set rotation until you bring him to 70% health. The rotation is always the same and you'll want to bring him to 70% before he summons a second shambling horror that leaves you with around 90 seconds. First he will cast Infest, which is a dot that will increase its damage the longer you have it on you. The dot is removed once you reach 90% health, so as long as he is using this, you'll want to stay above 90%. Leaving the dot on you will kill you very fast. He will then summon 3 Drudge Ghouls, who don't do anything special, but they do add to the damage taken. Then he'll place a Shadow Trap on the floor. Standing on the Shadow Trap will deal damage and knock you away, most likely off the platform and to an unfortunate death. Next he'll summon the first Shambling Horror. This Horror does a ton of damage, will go in a frenzy and he will cast a Shockwave. He's immune to Blinding Light or turn evil, but you can stun him with a Fist of Justice. After that it's Infest, Shadow Trap, Summon Drudge Ghouls, Shadow Trap, Infest, Summon Drudge Ghouls, Infest. Fight him any longer and he'll place a Shadow Trap and summon a new Shambling Horror, but at that point you're in trouble. So the object of phase 1 is to get him to 70% as soon as possible while keeping your health above 90%. Use Seal of Truth and keep Sacred Shield active at all times. I pre-pot with a potion of Mogu power and it's very important to pre-pot since you'll most likely need a health potion later on. You can time this by using the potion the moment the Lich King shoots his white spell at Tyrion. After that I build up free holy power, activate my execution sentence on myself, inquisition, avenging wrath and guardian of ancient kings. The execution sentence will remove the first infest allowing me to focus on DPSing. I ignore the ghouls and focus my DPS on the Lich King. I move him to the left when he places his first shadow trap. The Shambling Horror joins the fight and I stun him with a Fist of Justice to buy me some time and keep my health near 90%. I heal myself above 90% to remove the second infest. Now it's DPSing for your life. I, I want to position myself near the throne for the next phase so I slowly kite them all up while avoiding the shadow traps. I know that the Shambling Horror will go in a frenzy and there's no way to stay above 90% while putting out enough DPS. I let my health drop to around 20% and then I use a lay on hands. This will instantly remove the new infest and my execution sentence will make sure that the final infest is removed. I reach 70% with only one shambling horror, so this is perfect. Now we enter phase one and a half. During this phase, the Lich King will stand in the middle and shoot frost orbs at you. Getting hit by these orbs will send you flying and most likely off the platform. This is the reason why I position myself on the throne so that I don't have to worry about that mechanic of the fight. Raging spirits spawn now and they get priority over everything else. They can silence you for five seconds and as a paladin that can be very lethal. I switch the Seal of Insight and I switch my Crusader Strike for Hammer of the Righteous. I DPS the adds while focusing on any Raging Spirits that spawn. The Lich King will still use Infest in the next phase, so it's very important to keep your health up. It will take around a minute for phase 2 to begin. In phase 2 he will stop using shadow traps, instead Valkyrie will join the fight. They normally pick someone up and throw them off the platform, but they ignore you when you're soloing. 
I think using a bubble clears all your aggro and makes the Valkyr believe that you're not a tank, so I try to avoid using it. If you do use it, you have a risk of the Valkyr picking you up anyways and throwing you off the platform. It will also cause Defile, which is a black pool on your location, and it deals a ton of damage if you stand in it. I have one ad left, so I try to kill him as soon as possible. Every time the Lich King casts Defile, I try to use my judgments, because the speed increase will make me move out of the pool faster. The Defile will always land on your location, so that speed really helps. Once the ad is dead, it's a matter of moving out of the Defile while keeping your health above 90%. Phase 2 will last until he reaches 40% health. At 40% you'll enter phase 2.5 and, and the Valkyrie will leave the battle. This is another transition phase, so position yourself on the throne to make sure that you're not blown off the platform. Kill the raging spirits as fast as you can and the Lich King will now stop using infest so you don't have to worry about keeping your health above 90%. In phase 3, the Lich King will suck you into Frostmourne. Normally, a big ad will be in the room, but he doesn't spawn when you solo. Wait it out while killing a few spirits. He will also summon Vile Spirits now, who will float in the air before they do a kamikaze attack on you. This explosion hurts a lot. Like I said, just shoot a few spirits and keep your health up when you're in Frostmourne. 
I had one Raging Spirit left, so I made sure to kill that as soon as possible. The file is still used, same tactic as before, judge when he cast it so he can move out of it as soon as possible. You can kill the vile spirits before they reach you, but as a paladin we don't have that many ranged attacks and the Lich King does have an enraged timer. I decided to take the hits and just heal it out. A bubble, lay on hands and devotion aura are lifesavers. Phase 3 isn't the hardest phase, but it's a race against the clock. He has an enraged timer of 15 minutes, so you'll have to get him down to 10% before that. If you manage to do that, and he kills you with Fury or Frostmourne, well, congrats, you soloed the Lich King on heroic mode.
the strength to shatter these bonds. The Lich King has two achievements and you might be able to solo one of them. Been waiting a long time for this requires you to stack Necrotic Plague to exactly 30 before defeating the Lich King. He doesn't use Necrotic Plague when you solo, so this one is impossible. The other one is called Neck Deep in Vile and I think you can solo this one with enough DPS. The Lich King summons these adds in phase 3 but it takes a little while before they come floating towards you to explode. I doubt that a paladin has enough range DPS to kill them all in time, but it might be possible to burst the Lich King to 10% before they come towards you. I tried it with a bubble and succeeded, but they still exploded, so I'm not sure if that counts and I have no way of checking this. If you wanted to give it a try, good luck. If not, bring a few friends and kick his ass. This concludes my How to Solo Ice Crown Citadel guide. I hope it will be helpful. Subscribe if you like my videos, and until next time guys. See ya!